I kind of started this disciple making journey as a university student. And since then, you know, I've done it as a newlywed and a mother with young children and now teenagers. And it really has changed over the years. Um, like when my kids were little, a lot of times it involved sitting at a park while they played, whether it was a university student or another young mom, we would just sit on a bench and be able to chat together while our kids played, or maybe we did it at the house and the kids were in the playroom. And, you know, there's lots of distractions and noise, but that's the way life is. And, um, and now my kids are older. And so I don't have those same demands. Uh, but sometimes I just like to go on a walk with someone because it's just great to get outside, enjoy God's creation, be able to talk and exercise. It's not always something that I can prioritize. And so, you know, over the years, you just kind of find what the stage is, whether it's my stage or whether the stage of the person that I'm meeting with and really just find those intersection points. Um, a lot of the university students that I discipled for a lot of years, they became my kids' babysitters when they were little. And so they were in my home. They saw my kitchen when it was a mess. Uh, but that was part of our relationship. And, uh, and some of those girls still text my daughters every now and then to see how they're doing because they have a relationship with them from those years. And so you begin to see the generations. And I think that that is the natural outworking of those relationships when you really invest in people it's not a project, it's not a meeting, it's a relationship and a lifestyle and a calling and, and you become, it's like Pete was saying earlier, it's community, it's ministering out of community. And so you just find ways to do that. 